Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and this is a review of the Nikon 50mm 1.8S Z-mount lens. Nikon launched the Z-mount with the Z6, Z7 cameras and 50mm 1.8S, 35mm 1.8S and 24mm f4S in 2018. It was something of a departure for a company that had long held on to its F-mount. It was a complete new design. It allows lenses to get much closer to the sensor and is very much optimized for mirrorless cameras. The 50mm 1.8S is a very interesting lens as well. Part of Nikon's S line, this actually is their top end 50mm lens. It's the equivalent to some of the Nikon lenses that had gold rings around the front their best optical design with their best technology that they have available. And in images, it really shows the optical quality of this lens is superb. It has edge to edge sharpness, the center is completely sharp, and even wide open, it just looks magnificent. If you stop it down to f2 or 2.8, it is absolutely unbeatable. The thing is though, it really should be because it costs 500 pounds, which is a huge amount for a 50 millimeter lens, especially a 1.8. In fact, I have the 50 millimeter 1.8 AFD um, that I've had for about 12 years. As you can see, it's much smaller, much lighter, despite being for the F mount, um, and it cost about 80 pounds at the time. Compared to this, that is chalk and cheese, and this may well be much more unaffordable in comparison to this, which a lot of people might have bought at the time. Thankfully, you can justify buying this as a result of the incredible optical quality and silent and extremely quick autofocus. Nikon moved away from their silent wave motors to stepping motors, um, which give this really fast, really quiet focusing, which is fantastic for video. And they've also used all the other technologies, such as the various lens coatings that they've developed in order to give you the best performance, whether that's reduced chroma, whether that's um, reduced color fringing, this just looks phenomenal. It even deals with lens flare extremely well. You can shoot directly into the sun, though I wouldn't recommend it, um, and not really worry. It also comes with a very nice bayonet lens hood, um, which is something I haven't actually seen on Nikon's 50mm lenses before. Uh, I'm not sure if the 1.4G came with one, but I don't think it did, um, which obviously is great when shooting outdoors in bright sunlight. Um, and the build quality of this lens is really good too. In fact, I couldn't quite understand what I'd read in other reviews where people were saying that they found the build quality to be a bit substandard. Yes, it is very expensive and therefore you have quite a high expectation of the build quality. However, the actual mount is metal. The rear of the barrel is also metal. You have a small plastic ring here, um, which is very high quality texture plastic. Um, then you have a full metal focus ring, um, which is must be about one and a half inches across, which is much bigger um, than other 50 mm lens uh, that Nikon has made. And then the front of the lens is obviously also mostly plastic, but in all honesty, this feels solid. Um, so I really wouldn't worry about that. The video quality, as I mentioned, with the autofocus is really good. Um, and I actually use this for most of my reviews that I've recorded um, since the autumn. Um, I'm currently recording this with the 24 to 70 um, f4s lens. Um, so if you want to sort of compare the video quality, feel free to look at one of my other reviews. Um, and you should see the difference between the 24 to 70 um, f4 at 50 millimeter and this. Um, and I also think that Nikon has just done a really good job in terms of the feel when you're using this. Um, this does, does have fly-by-wire focusing, um, which is true of all uh, Nikon's Z-mount lenses, um, other than the 
um, 0.95 58mm knocked, uh, which is manual focus only. Um, however, I think it's really easy to use, especially with focus peaking turned on, so it shouldn't really be an issue for most people. However, that price, again, that is the sticking point for me. I think it puts it out of reach um, of a lot of people that might otherwise have bought it alongside their kit lens. It's certainly how I started off. Um, and it's a shame that they've sort of denied that from people that don't necessarily want to spend £500 um, on a lens where you already have the focal length in your kit lens. Um, if you can find it for the £270 or so that I paid, and um, hopefully you'll see some more rebates, uh, in the spring, um, then I say definitely pick one up because it's definitely worth that um, and you'll probably get a lot of use out of it. So that's what I think of the Nikon 50mm 1.8S, um, definitely a very interesting lens. I hope you found this review useful. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Thanks very much. Goodbye.